Hey guys, welcome back. I decided to make a part 17 of Tapper. I figured I would make a video on uh, hooking this stuff up. I did find a coin counter and I just mounted it there. I believe it's supposed to mount over here on its own little bracket that goes on to here, but I don't have that. So I just mounted it in the center and we'll run our wires whatever way I need to run them. And we got to put a plug end onto it so that we can plug it into this end here. I'm going to take all the wires out of this plug end here um, so that we can repin it. I have the booklet here with the different, uh, with the wiring colors of what goes where. So hopefully I'll be able to follow that and get this hooked back up. Or get it hooked up the right way, I should say. See if I can zoom in a little bit here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, un I'm going to take all the pins out of this. Um, I have a little tool here that I use for Molex pins. There's a smaller one here and a bigger one. We need the smaller one for this. And you just slide them over that and you kind of just twist. This one's kind of hard because you want to put your hand on that end, but it's kind of sharp. And then they'll pop out. I'll take them all out and we'll probably reuse this plug in and we'll just re-plug them in in the right orientation because they're definitely not in the right spots by doing it this way we don't have to crimp new ends on these ones we are going to have to crimp some new ends onto this coin counter but that's not a big deal. And then I need to figure out the wires for the, I got to get wires for the lights. We'll have to make those wires and run them into this plug here. So I'm trying to look here at the picture and see what we got going on here. Don't know how well you'll be able to see this. So the coin door lights are orange and black and gray and red, it looks like. Then we have a white and white and gray. Gray and black. That's for the uh, volume knob, which is over there, so we don't have to worry about that. Coin meter is white and brown and white, which are these two wires here. That already has a plug end on it and then we need to know looks like five volts is red ground is yellow and black so let's see if we have a yellow and black here I see a yellow and I don't see a red so this might not be the right spot I'm looking at here. Coin door. Let me see here. Red, red. Orange and black. All right, I'm going to have to look through this book a little bit and see if I can figure out where I need to go. Okay, I figured out some of the colors here. Our orange and gray go to our lights. So those will go to our light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the old Molex plug, and we're just going to plug it into here. And then we can just push our new ones in so we know that we're in the right split right place so we need to do we need to make a yellow and a gray wire which I grabbed some yellow and yuck extra yellow and gray wire so I'm going to go ahead and take a wire from here jump it over to here and then over to the plug and 
you got to kind of route this to where it's not going to get in the way. So we'll go through here like they did before. And I'm going to solder these on rather than using a slide on end. So I need to strip these. And we'll put it right through the hole. Actually, I need to see which one's positive. Okay, this one's positive, this one's the housing. So I'm going to fold that over. And we'll take it over to this one. Make sure which one's which. This one's the positive again. Solder done is heated up or not? Not sure. Just about there. I'm running the wire behind the coin chutes so they won't interfere with anything. This can come over to here. Um, I think that should be about long enough. Just cut it for now. Let's do the gray wire now. And I'll get some little zip ties and zip tie all this together nice and neat. Okay, now we got to put some Molex pins on them. Just want to cut these both the same length. Get them stripped. So 
buying the same size pin. What's in here? I think that's it. Or is it these ones? Can't tell. I think it's the smaller ones. Yeah, it's the smaller ones. Point zero seven four. It looks like. Yeah, that's got to be them. So we're gonna put an end on each one of these two. on the other side. Hopefully. And I might have to unplug it for a minute. There we go. this a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, I broke it. here means our yellow orange windows right here I, mean, I don't know if those are the right size pins seem I think they're too small still want them to be loose I wonder if they're the 093s. I'm thinking so. I don't know. We'll try it and see what happens. Okay. Um, our next two wires are yellow. And the orange and green stripe. So I know that the yellow goes to yellow over here which is right next to our orange. So yellow goes here. Then the one that is orange with a green stripe, which is right here, 
This goes to brown. It almost looks purple. So we're gonna put it un we're gonna put it below the yellow one on brown. Okay, that one's in. Now we have gray and orange. This must be, okay, these ones are cut. These are the gray and orange that went to there originally. So we're just gonna get these out of this harness since we ran new ones. Rip those out of there, we don't need them right now. Now the blue wire was going to the slam switch. So the blue wire goes to the blue wire over here, but I'm not seeing the blue wire. It's right here and it stops. They have this thing kind of a little messed up here. So this blue wire needs to go into that plug. So I'm probably going to have to get another piece and add to it. And then we have these other colors here, which are going nowhere. So the blue wire goes to the slam switch. The yellow wire goes to the slam switch, which it already is. So we just need the blue wire. And then these two white wires. The two white wires, one is white and yellow and one is white and brown. Those are for the, um, the coin meter. So let's plug this in the right direction here. And we're gonna put these in. So we have the yellow one goes here. And the brown, white and brown go here. So those are for the coin switch. These two wires are not being used. We're gonna take these out of there. So basically the only thing we're missing is the blue wire, and then we gotta make a plug in for the meter for this. So we need a plug in for this, and I need to run a, make this blue wire longer up into there. And then there's a red wire coming off of here, which I don't know why that's on there. Somebody just put that on there for something. So we'll cut that off. We don't need that slam switch wire. They cut that for some reason. We don't know why, but we can always solder that back together. So basically the only thing I need to do now is these two yellow wires. I'm going to splice and cap these together because these are supposed to be together. So I need to go get a piece of blue wire. But first let's put the end on these two wires here. I'm gonna run these through here like I did with the other ones. Get them out of the way. I'll strip them and put an end on this. And I don't know if these matter which direction they go. That I'm not sure of. So just put them in. If it doesn't work, you just spin the two wires around. I don't think it'll matter, but I'm not sure. Guess we'll find out. Oh, I need to find a plug-in that'll plug into this. go into my other bin of uh, connectors. I think this is what we need here. Yep, okay. I need two pins. I'm going to see if these 093s fit in here. Nope, they're too tight. So I was right, the smaller ones.
I'm double crimping these because these are smaller and it's easier to start in the farthest one back, which is the biggest, and then move it to the middle one afterwards. in there and I don't know if it matters if there's one way or another. Okay and then this can plug in. We can plug this in. tie all these up. I need to put a cap on these two. Cut them both the same length. I'm going to go grab a cap for this and then some zip ties and a blue wire so that we can um, extend that blue wire for the slam switch. using a crimp connector cap. Uh, you know, I'm just going to use another one of those caps for this blue wire as well. I'll go grab one real quick. I broke the wire off.
There we go. Okay, that's done. Now I need to solder this blue wire back together. Actually, I'm going to put a pull on it a little bit here. the old pieces off. I'm going to tin this wire with a little bit of solder first. Now everything should be hooked up correctly. We'll turn it on in a minute and we'll try it. Um, I did get some uh, original style coin mechanisms. I found these. So these just drop in the bottom ones first. So they slide in like this. And then the top spring loaded. So I'm going to turn this on and we'll test this stuff before I try zip tying it all up and stuff. And I got to go grab a couple light bulbs. Okay, I have a couple light bulbs here. Put these in. Plug this in. Okay, we have our light bulbs are working. Wait for the game to boot up here. I want to see if it'll let me turn. It's on free play, but I wonder if I hit the coin switch. Okay. This one's bent. Okay, both of those work. Um, Coin counter is not working, and I don't know if that is because this is the wrong one style or if it matters which way these are plugged in. So I'll just try switching the wires. If that doesn't work, then it's the wrong style coin counter, which is not a big deal. Uh, put the wrong side on there. Darn it. I screwed that up. if I can do it on this side. You know, these are female. I can really get it in there. My other uh, Molex tool to take these pins out, I broke it. I gotta get order a new one. So this one, I don't like it. So I'm gonna switch this one to this side. Plug it back in. Okay, it's, it's not working, so it just must not be the right style for this, but that's all right. That's not a big deal. We'll just leave it. I don't think it's going to hurt anything leaving it plugged in. I don't know if this works or not. Slam switch works. Okay, looks good.
looks like everything is working. So now we can zip tie all this up. I know that these get zip tied down here. There's usually a little hole in the side of one of these. Yep, it's right there. Hopefully my zip ties, I got small ones here. Yep, they barely fit through there. You want to try to get these as tight as you can in this area so that they don't hang lower than the door when you shut it. Take this over to here and zip tie all these together. Eventually I'll run across another coin counter and I'll just swap it out. I'm not worried about it. At least there's one in there for now. I have to rewire the interlock switch on the back door. It's backwards. When you pull it out, it turns the game off. When you push it in, the game turns on. Wait, pull it out the game. When you pull it out, the game should turn on and it turns it off. So I just think the two wires are backwards on that. So that's all good there. I think what I want to do is tuck this in here. That should be good. Yep, that works. Okay, now I'm going to get the cabinet spun around and we'll see about fixing that interlock switch. Okay, on this part I'm not sure of. I don't know if it's just the two wires are reversed on here or not. So I guess I can try that first. I'm just not sure. Oh, nice, the wires ripped right out of the ends. Awesome. Apparently I didn't have those ones crimped on there good. So now I gotta re-crimp some ends on there. Let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, I switched the wires around. So let's see if it works now. There we go. So it turns on now when you pull it out, which is the correct way to do that. So now I need to put together the back door and then I need to take the control panel off and reverse the two wires, the right and left wires on the joystick itself because they are backwards. And then I'll probably clean the contacts and stuff on the uh, leaf switches and then um, I gotta put these uh, handles in, so let me go grab those. We'll screw those in real quick. These are the original handles that came off of the game. Put those back in. Get them screwed in here.
You know what else I don't think I ever checked was the on off switch on the top of the cabinet. Let's see if that turns off. Yep. Okay, so that works. I'm going to turn the game off for now and we can see about getting this back door put on. I need to put the vents. I cut some pieces of metal for the vents for the back door because I didn't even have a back door when I got this cabinet. So I made this back door and I just cut out some metal grates so I can find where I put them. I'm going to go look for them real quick. It's not exactly what they're supposed to look like, but I got this br uh, black painted metal at Home Depot in the hardware section. It was in a big sheet and I just cut it into squares and I'll put it over there. And I'm just gonna screw it on with screws. four of them to do. Then I gotta get a lock for the door, back door. Okay, I'm going to get the other three screwed on and then I'll go get the lock and we'll come back and put the lock on the back door. Okay, let's get a lock on here. Hopefully this one will work. I made my recess for the nut a little tight. It's kind of hard to get in there and spin it. That might end up being a problem. Yep. I wonder if I could spin the lock cylinder. That might work. Let's see how tight I can get it though. That's all right. That'll work. Tight. So we'll just do this way for unlock. That way will be lock. So that way is lock. Let's see here. That's unlocked. So that's the lock right there. And hopefully this is long enough to make it. Looks like it's going to be.
tight right there for some reason. There we go. So then that's lock loose, so we need to bend that tab. And I need to tighten that nut up in there. Well, it's tight. What I'm going to have to do is spin that latch, though. That's not a big deal. So that's unlock. And I need to spin this some more, too, I think. I really can't go much more than that. We'll make that unlock, and that'll be lock. Oh, nice and tight. It's gonna spin it around though. So this right here is the lock position. So this means that this has to be in the upright position. I can't even see what I'm doing over here. Just talking away. Nobody can see anything. What I'm doing is I'm switching this latch around so that it goes this way. That's the lock position. That's done. Last thing we need to do is the wire for the joystick. So let me get this spun around again. Okay, I need to get the control panel unlatched. Put it, tilt it back like this. And hopefully it'll stay. We need to switch the left and right. I had it right. That's right. That's right. Maybe it's just these two contacts might be touching each other. This is up. It's labeled up. This is down. Labeled down. Left. No, I have it right. Let me go grab a file. I'll clean those up a little bit.
All right, that last part of the video got uh, cut off, but I switched around the joystick leaf switches. Um, so now it is uh, working properly and I played it for a minute to show you guys and I somehow cut the video off. So let me play it one more time here. So it's working both directions now. A little bit more adjustment on the leaf switch. See, having a little problem going down. I think I just need to adjust that one leaf switch. Oops. I got lucky because that one would have broke it. Uh, I'd have died. I'm going to just try this bonus round real quick. All right, guys, that's going to end this video. This is part 17 of Tapper. It is complete 100%. The only thing that is not currently working is the coin counter. Everything else is completely working and functional. So thanks, guys, for watching. And this weekend, we'll start on the Wizard of War. So you guys have a good night, and I'll talk to you later.